Previously on Flavor of Love. I got a set of twins. I want you. And I want you too. Who wouldn't want two for one? We'll do whatever it takes, Flav. We want to do it together. I really believe that I'm a threat in this house. So my strategy is I get all of his attention. What's up, Susan? Seasons always tries to take over. Wait a minute, it's all about what looks best yeah. for the calendar, ladies. Okay. Y'all are what's best for the calendar? I'm definitely torturing Sincere because I don't think she needs to be here. So did they give you your flight information? <laughs> Hold up, ladies. You are not good enough. He deserves better. Hey, ladies! I got some of my bomb dogs coming through just for you. So all of a sudden, these four hoochie mamas come walking through the door. So, Flay, what you think? This is not a good idea. So, Flav, what you thinking? And walk these four girls, and I ain't gonna lie, but these beautiful, confacious young ladies was looking hot. They was looking real sexy, G. Put them in a running. I'm looking out for you. I want you to find that one this time, Blake. If Safari and Buckwild think that these girls look better than me, obviously they're blind. I definitely feel that these little girls have nothing on us. Come on. Classy, trashy. It's obvious. At least let these ladies introduce themselves. Hi, Slaves. My name is Candace. What's your nickname, Mama? Well, I was thinking blue because my eyes. I was hoping that, you know, once you look into my eyes, you won't want to look away. The first girl that stepped up, she wanted to be called blue. I looked in her blue eyes. I said, yeah, I can understand that. I'll call you black because that's what you dressed in. That's good. I like nice that. Nice to meet you, black. <sighs> Our first impression on black, I mean, like, homegirl is tan way too much. It definitely looked like she fell asleep in a tanning bed. How you doing? My name's Mariah. I'm the complete package. Total package? She's not a complete package, and I don't think I have anything to worry about. I'm that perfect prototype of a woman. All right, prototype. Nice to meet you, prototype. Nice to meet you. Hi, babe. How you doing? How are you? Let's see what you've been missing. And obviously, still are. <laughs> you can call me Luscious D. Luscious D. Does the D stand for dumb? From the figure to being packed with the Ds. Well, anybody can buy those. Y'all didn't. Naomi Campbell. Even better, baby, even better. I thought that they all looked like whores, and I can swear that one of them is a man. <laughs> and I will not believe otherwise until I see a vagina. Gotta give me the test press. <laughs> when I gave her a hug, I felt like I was hugging a black Bridget Nelson. And I could hear the ocean inside her belly button. You can call me Lex. <laughs> wow, that's what they call my nephew. I'm gonna call you Tree. <laughs> that's what I call the tree. Cause I like climbing trees. And she looks like a tree that I can climb. Gotta be a dude. It's a goon. It's a girl dude. Boy, is it a surprise. Surprise. Surprise, 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 surprise. I gotta bring changes to the game. You know what I'm saying? And if you know where you stand with me, you shouldn't be mad at all. Fabi, Buckwild, thank y'all for coming. Take care! Hey, yo, Rick, give me four extra glasses. Coming up, sir. So being that now the new girls are in here, now it's time to move on to my champagne toast. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. When Flav gave the new girl champagne before us, we were pissed off. How you gonna serve these old new bitches you don't even know champagne first, then us? Atlanta. You all right? You know what kind of connection we got, right? Mm -hmm. So there should be nothing for you to worry about then. I feel 
felt hurt. Is it that you're not satisfied with the options you have? That's what it made me feel like. Like he wasn't satisfied with not only me, but nobody else. I need a drink. The old girls were definitely intimidated by us new girls coming into the house. And I think a lot of them, they try to put out a front, but I know that they're worried as hell. Anyway, without further ado, come gather around your man. <laughs> Flavor Flay! Yeah! What's your names again? We gonna go back yeah. into our room. That's what people do when they're I'm moving with them. I'm moving with them. Y'all got some flake. So me and Sincere, we decided that temporarily we're gonna put our differences to the side and focus on getting these new bitches out the house. That was the problem that we had to focus on right then and there. Y'all don't know what you're getting into. Oh, we got talking shit. Talking, 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 talking. talking, talking, talking. I can see where Flav would be interested in some new girls, because from what I'm seeing here on the first night, he doesn't really have a lot to choose from. We have fucking feelings involved. We've been here for how long? And, and then these bitches to come up in here could take our clock away from us? Come on, we just start claiming these beds. So what you, oh, let me bring some shoes over there. Right after eliminations, we go upstairs and move all of Hotlanta's and Season stuff into the room with the balcony, because we didn't want these bitches to have no luxury while they're here. And they ugly. Thank you. That one look like a thick ass hoop. Like the Tarzan. one looks like a man. I don't back down from nobody, especially some bitches that don't even know me. So yes, I made sure that they had a very lovely welcome. <laughs> Let's go find our spot for the next three weeks, ladies. You guys can have that room over there. Cute room. Well, when we first walked into the room, it was nasty. There was shit everywhere. I mean, like, were they saving these for later? That's real nasty. Fake eyelashes on the dressers. Somebody had just shaved their legs in the bathtub and literally it was disgusting. There's some hoes that sent in Sorry. auditions and whatever the fuck. He's like, oh, hi. How are you doing? Hey, how are you ladies doing? I'm lovely. What's your name again? Sincere. Sincere. It's nice to meet you, Sincere. Toodles, toodles. Sorry, there's no tanning boots here. Go in the pool. Help. I'm, 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 I'm drowning. Come save me with your water balloons on your chest. You wish you had a chest like her. You brought your shit. With you and your weed, you want to talk about real? After eliminations, seems like all hell was starting to break loose in the house. If I was you, I would hate you. I would hate to be you right now. Why? Because you got to be out of here. If we had a man in our team, too, we would be, you know. Okay, Tarzan. Go save your hoes, Tarzan. You can, what is your education level? Here we go again. Y'all got a GED? Do you got a GED? Coming up. These women don't have any respect for Flav's house. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that ain't right. Flav's house is disgusting. And later. I'm going to have to get on a stage in front of people. A glass of champagne is not cutting it. I think she was a little drunk. <laughs> The next morning when we wake up, so I look over, I guess Prince had a nightcap. That's Prince that saw you? Sneaky bitch. Listen to it straight in the door. That's so disgusting. We walked over by the sink. It's nasty. It was chunks of food left in the sink. There's like dirty dishes. And the entire kitchen is full with fruit flies and nets. This is disgusting. Oh, that ain't right. That ain't, oh, oh, my God. Maggots? Maggots don't come in overnight. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, that's fucking foul. Who lives like that? Never in my life seen some shit like that. Like, I don't see how anybody could possibly live like that. It was fucking gross. <laughs> Real competition. They have a board in the kitchen. You can write down all the things that you need. And we need real competition in the house. Oh, we're really going to start something now. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was fabulous. <laughs> woke up in the morning, we made sure that we walked around the house with our clocks to show these bitches we earned these, and they damn sure need to earn theirs if they think they're gonna stay around here. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon, Blake. Hey, yo, check this out. What we gonna do is a thing called hip-hopper. 
I'm going to let the girls do their first annual Flavor Flav Hip Hopper. That's hip hop and opera. I want to have y'all put on a play for me. There's going to be three acts. The first two acts is about my past. There's a script already written. The act number three is about our future. So I want each one of you to write a little rap about yourself. Now my man R. Kelly did a hip hop rap. But he had 83 acts and 83 tapes. I'm going to take three acts, and it might take about maybe two tapes. Now, it's going to be two girls who will go on a solo date with me. Y'all got three hours. All of y'all have to decide on who your director is going to be. Get yourselves right for this. All right? All right. I'm only giving them three hours to get their act together, to get dressed, rehearse everything, and sing for your man. I really had to step my game up, be more aggressive. So this challenge, I'm going to be the director and get me a date. Yeah, I can keep shit together. Y'all know that. I, we know everything about Flay's past. So let's get that shit cracking now. When Susan stepped up and said she was going to be the director, I was pissed because I don't know her. I don't know what she's capable of. All right, start from page one. Twins, you're going to start off with the narration. Okay. All right, pumpkin. You want to do pumpkin? Yeah, hot land. <laughs> I want to do Flav. I wanted to do Flav in Act 1, because I can't sing. I can. I, I would be better at the rapping part. That's why I said I wanted to do this Flav. All right, so Act 2, Flav is sincere, right? New York is tree. Okay. I'm not so sure that, that Seasons is qualified to be the director. She's just rolling through, talking very fast. She was definitely against the new group of women coming in. So who's delicious? Prototype. Seasons only wanted to give me three lines, then I'll have to make my mark some other way. Hoops, my girl Black. Pretty much when I was assigning the roles, I strategically planned it out where the older girls got the bigger roles and the newer girls, eh, threw them the scraps. I know this may seem very stereotypical, but the Bridget part. It's only two, it's like two lines. Okay, so is everybody happy with the roles that they're playing? It's dispersed evenly. Seasons asked the old girls first what they wanted and then just kind of gave us new girls what was left over. I kind of, it was pissing me off. All right, girls, you ready? Yeah. So it's time for us to get this show on the road. We gotta head to the theater. Go, hey, go, 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 If I'm gonna have to get on a stage in front of people, a glass of champagne is not cutting it. I need something, oh, hell of a lot stronger. Y'all want a glass of Hennessy? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think Highlander may be drinking a little bit more since the new girls are in the house. I think she just drink way too much. I think she drinks a lot. <laughs> so when we drive up to the theater, we see the marquee. It says favorites. I mean, we were so excited. We thought that was so cute. Like, we was really putting on a real performance. <laughs> I can't believe I'm performing Flav for Flav on this big stage under all these lights. This is crazy. Once you hop down on the ground like that, then we'll cut seat. Doing your thing, there you go, there you go. Oh shit. <laughs> Graceful, you know, cute little twirl. Bring them out like that, you know what I mean? Season, I have to kind of give her a little hand because she did go around and help each and everybody. So on her part, she did all right. You did it. Half the kudos. Yeah. Yeah. I want you guys to be like, oh, like, uh, damn, bitch. Like, right. oh, like, do the face and everything. Like, oh. She had no clue what she was doing. She was trying to just boss people around and have that power over people. That's just what she likes. I don't like getting told what to do, though. I feel it falling. It's dragging my pants down for real. For a delicious, I knew my ass was nowhere near as close as big as hers. So I had to do something. All right, there you go. You got the ass. You got to shake your ass. I grabbed some sheets. And I took them and I stuffed them down my underwear. And I was trying so hard to keep them up. Showtime. So we're my twist twins. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, Big Rick. Yes, sir. Let's go in here and see what my girls got. Let's do it, sir. This hip hop better be the bomb. Coming up. We cooked your breakfast. Wow. One of the greatest feelings in the world is having four brand new girls sitting on your bed. You got four bitches coming to the house trying to take my meal. Hotlanta is drunk. She's smoking more and drinking more. Slave, what are you thinking? 
have my little glasses here, you know. <laughs> so tonight, the girls are going to put on hip hopera. And with this, they're going to be able to be Flav and tell Flav stories through music and rhymes. Let's go. One thing that I know, this hip hopera better be the bomb. Take my glasses off of this. <laughs> We here today to tell the story about a man named Flav in all his glory. There's one thing he's missing from his life, not talking about kissing. He needs a wife. He's still a strange love with the big ass chick to kick him to the girth. Damn, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> oh my little Foofy, I hate to say goodbye, but when I'm near you, Gita, I feel some warm inside. You know I love you, Foofy, but I'm engaged with someone else. What's that got to do with me? I want you to myself. <laughs> self, self. <laughs> yeah, boy! Flavor, play! The first scene was about me coming to an end with my girl, Bridget Nielsen. Now, real life, that was a sad scene. In the hip hop, bro, it was a mad scene. So, a uh, broken man in search of something new. Brought home to you ladies and even like a few. <laughs> hey, yo, big big. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, look at that belly. <laughs> yo, Sincere, she played Flay. Doing my dances, doing all my moves. Ladies, I hope that you would understand that this party's the hottest on your man. But it's time to send a lady home tonight. That's right, again. Someone's going home tonight, but it won't be me. Tree, she was a little more dramatical than New York, and it looked kind of awkward because <laughs> New York ain't tall like that, you know what I'm saying? I did it, I did it. Did I really do it? There was some very good Flavor Flav impressions, very good pumpkin impressions, very good hoops impressions, and it was an even greater toasty impression. And I ain't gonna lie, but I think she was a little drunk, man. Ooh, that's good right there. Yeah, that's good, right? Work that ass. Work that ass, girl. Prototype, I gotta give it to you. I commend you. You got a lot of heart and you got a lot of ass. <laughs> Word. Now, after I've seen all the acts about my past loves, now is the time to see my future. Boy, I can't wait to see what these girls got rigged up for that because they had to write their own stuff they sell. I jumped out of a plane 30,000 feet in the air just to show you, baby, how much I care. And the winner is me, boy. Your girl, Lush is deep. Flavor Flay is our man. He's going to end. <laughs> one more time, one time, one time, one time. I ain't going to lie, but some of the raps wasn't all that great. And the winner is me. Use your eyes to see. I'm here for you, boo, not this caddy crew. Staying to myself in the room with Dasty. Wanna get with you so we can do the nasty. Too hot for TV. So Prancer gets up to do her rap thinking she sounds all cute and stuff. Then I started listening to the words a little bit. Not thinking about these girls cause I'm leaving with him. Four days in a row. I rock my hydro. Keep shit on the low. You know what I know. Now I know what you know now too, dumbass. What Prance is trying to say in her rap is that her and Flay fuck. You keep it real with me, cause I'm leaving with the last clock on season three. What is Prancer thinking? Do not kiss and tell, never kiss and tell. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Overall and all, I think the hip hop was kind of great. And the reason why is because I really seen the effort that these girls put in to try to entertain their man. So after the show, 
it was time for me to give out the awards. My first award goes to the best performance. Best performance award is going to Prototype. As a new girl, it felt really good to beat Prancer and Sincere with only three lines. My plan worked, I did a great job, and I won my date. Flav just gave the award to the girl with no lines, who shook her fake ass. What? My next award goes to the second winner of the best performance. Sincere. I'm going to take you on a date with me and Prototype. Thank you, Flav. All right. It's kind of bittersweet that I won a date with Flav. I'm glad that I did win the date, but he's telling me that my performance was second best to this buck tooth bitch. What kind of shit is that? She didn't even have no fucking lines. Let's take it back to the mansion. Ladies, good job. So he gets Prototype a date for best performance, and I'm thinking almost everything she did, I'm the one that told her to do. So it's because of me that she got the best performance award. And I'm completely shocked. So after we got back to the mansion, all the old girls ran down to me and said, Flav, I'm sorry to tell you the bad news, but your girl Hotlanta is drunk. Again. What's the matter? I just can't deal with this. Hotlanta was a hot mess. We got four bitches coming in the house trying to take my man. I've been through some shit. I think Hylanta is definitely intimidated by the new girls being here. For whatever reason, she's smoking more and drinking more, and she's becoming a lot more depressed. We'll talk about it, okay? She needs to wake the fuck up and snap up out of it, or else she's going to be the one to go home. This morning, I go downstairs to get something to eat, and I see all the new girls gathered around, and I'm thinking to myself, what's going on? I look over on the stove, and I see a little cookie cutter, and I realize they just made Flav breakfast in bed. I totally think that this is just a desperate attempt on the new girls to try and get some sort of connection with Flav, because it's an elimination night, and they know that they could be going home. Wow. Cooked you breakfast. Wow, they came and served me breakfast in bed. You know what? Everybody else cooked me no breakfast in bed around here. Can we sit in bed? Oh, you have to be in bed. Sure, come on, get up on the bed, <laughs> sit down. Come gather around your man for real. And I ain't gonna lie, one of the greatest feelings in the world, fellas, is having four brand new girls sitting on your bed. Now, before you feast, <laughs> we got a little something for you. We want to let you know that we are all sincere and not these other girls that are already here. They're also disrespectful. They tore your house apart. When we went into the kitchen, we nearly fell apart. We knew right then and there just what we had to do. We knew that it was time to show who's here for you. We started washing dishes and even swept the floor. We took out all the trash and even a little more. The rap was about how unsanitized the other girls were. We just wanted to show you how appreciative we are. We know you're truly genuine, and that's why you're a star. We love you, Clay. This is the bomb beginning <laughs> of a day. These four brand new girls was trying to show me that they have my back on the well-beings. That's what I'm talking about. Homegirl right there got the right idea. <laughs> wow. Now today, I'm going to take the best performers from the hip hop -er, Sincere and Prototype, out on the date. Hello, ladies. Hello, boy. How you doing? It's nice having a good, fresh perspective in the house. And you know what? I think, I really think that I can trust these new girls. So I'm going to give them a chance. So girls, check this out. I want to give away a clock tonight to keep somebody safe, but I haven't really been out here in the loop, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's got different things to say about each other right about now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let these ladies right here 
tell me which one of y'all should get the immunity clock. So Flav wants the new girls to give out the immunity clock. And we're thinking, oh, yeah, it's time for some revenge. Hotland ain't saying nothing. I I think that's bullshit. Who are they to come in here and say this is who we feel? That's bullshit. See y'all later, right? Bye. So Bye, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Flav, what are you thinking? Coming up. Do you want to share him? He is so special. Is he going to bone you and then go bone your sister? This is how I was from day one. All I can say is ew. I swear to God, I would not change it for nobody. You know what we're doing? That's what we're doing. <laughs> now today, I'm going to take the best performers from the hip hop bra, Sincere and Prototype out to the Santa Anita racetrack. Time for me to go up in here and try to win up all the money. I'm ready to bet. 100 on the 7. Uh oh, they racing. Come on, 7. Come on, baby. Coming around the track. Come on, Seven, come on. Where's my horse at? I got two fly horses right here. Come on, baby. Come on, Seven. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. And pulls ahead. Long time attempt at number seven. Horse wins. I won. I won. I won. That's right. The man won. Lucky number seven. That's how many kids I got. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's up in the front. Yeah, See you coming. Yeah. I got money. I won all three races in a row. Sure, it's kind of great. I make this drink. It's called a lava flow. Oh. Do you want to come up and do an interview first? Yeah. That's fine. We need to pick someone that we think is really here for Flav. So we decided to interview all the girls. What do you think about the other girls? Do you get along with all of them well? You know how it is. When you're beautiful and people feel threatened by you, they're going to start shit. It feels good not to be the hated girl in the house, because before you guys came, seriously, they did not like me. I really don't talk to anybody about right. what goes on between me and him. Four days in a row, I rock my hydro, keep shit on the low, you know what I know. She's a liar. You can't really believe what any of them say. She think he likes the twins. Hey, he's kept them around over 20 other girls. I think the whole idea with the twins having one clock is a little strange. So we decided to interview them separately. Can you understand why, where we would think it's a little strange that right. you and your sister would both want to share? Speaking for my sister and Flav, if we're happy with that. We're cool with that, then it's like, y'all gonna have the same man, sleep with the same man? Like, how's that gonna work out? Is he gonna bone you and then go bone your sister? If I'm happy and this is who my sister want to be with, this is who I want to be with, and I'm here to please flame myself. All I can say is, ew. Sloppy seconds, that's okay with you? That's just crazy. If it comes down to it, would you want to share him? Naturally, with any woman that you care about your man, it's going to be a jealousy factor there. She didn't like the idea of sharing him with her sister, which that would be normal. If you were ever given a clock to give to someone, would you give your sister the immunity clock? Honestly, no. Why should I have to put my feelings in my back for somebody else? No. I have never got involved with a man that's genuine, kind-hearted the way he is. He is so special. I just felt that she was being very genuine. I felt that she was really here for Flav. But people don't understand the feelings and emotions that I have with this guy, y'all. If it was felt so wrong to me, I swear to God, y'all don't care about the show. I would not be here. This is how I was from day one. And the way he looks at me in his eyes, mm -hmm. he's truthful. You can feel that it did bother her. If you care about someone that much, it should bother you. You shouldn't want to share that. I'll take the clock myself. So how do you like L.A.? I love it. I've been down here a couple times. I actually got to come back out here in December to shoot for a magazine. Prototype starts giving hints that she's possibly a model or a video ho. Have you done like music videos? Mm -hmm. So I start dropping questions to get more info out of her so that I can expose her in front of Flav. 
Conflict. I've done a few of Twister's videos. Crucial Conflict and Do or Die. Just want to do TV. Prototype told me that she was trying to be a commercial actress and she's done videos. I'm like, okay, I guess I got me another video queen. Your name shouldn't be Prototype. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's it should change. be Prototype. <laughs> <laughs> That's your name, photo type. Photo type. Your photo type. Watch your step. Let's go, please. Thank you. Play. It was time for me to see what the new girls came up with about the old girls and to find out who they wanted to give the immunity clock to. So who do you feel deep down in your heart that you should get an immunity clock? That's we thing, all decided thing, thing two. two. Thing two has more love for you. Then think one. Like when we set her down and asked her, like, all right, how do you feel about Flay being with your sister? Thing one was just kind of like, well, you know, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Thing two was like, you know what? Honestly, if you know, it bothered her. Mm -hmm. And if you really, really care about somebody, that's gonna bother you. They said that thing two was the realest thing for me in the house, and that thing two was feeling me the most out of all the old girls. Your man Flay has a very good idea. So I, I want to get to know you for. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm gonna do. So I gave all four new girls their clocks. It wouldn't have felt right eliminating one of the new girls anyway because I haven't been here all that long and one of the old girls definitely needed to go. So the new girls pick thing two to get the immunity clock. All right, date thing two. Sit down, have a one-on-one -on -one with thing two. Now I got you without your sister. <laughs> First time, right? Speaking to the girls today, right? They let me know one thing. They told me that it's you that deserve the immunity clock. They had split you and your sister up. I was devastated. We came in as one, and then to end up splitting us down the middle, it kind of was a dagger to my heart. But at the same time, I knew it had to be done. Between the both of you, you're the one that feels me the most. One of y'all is going to be here for me more than the other. And I got to see who's who. So you know what I'm going through tonight? Yo, Big Rick. Yes, sir. Give me a Sharpie. I didn't really want to hurt the twins because I love them both equally. And I took it kind of hard, too. But a man do what he got to do. That's what I'm going to do. See this? Flav gave me my clock at that time, but he kind of split it down the middle and kind of wrote on my sister. See that line right there? Mm -hmm. This is your clock. Okay. For, for tonight, okay? Mm -hmm. This is you. Mm -hmm. All right? This is me, Flay. Not letting your sister see that. So I love your sister, and that will hurt her. Mm -hmm. This is your immunity clock. I'll get it back later. You hold on to mine. Real fast. But I ended up giving thing two the clock from around my neck. I'm gonna let y'all know something. That's big. That's big. I'm gonna never take my clock off of nobody just to show you that I have how much love that I have for you. In the history of Flavor Flav, nobody gets my clock from around my neck. So what I did with Thing 2 was very, very special, and that's the first time that y'all will see it, and the last time. Trust your man. They gave the immunity to me. He said that he know that we're both here for him, mm -hmm. but they felt like, they felt like I had more of a feeling than you did. Mm -hmm. So from now on, they're gonna split us up. Yeah. They're going to spit us up. Mm -hmm. In a sense, it was like, okay, I got the immunity, but I didn't feel happy, honestly, inside because I felt that 
We were both here for the same thing, and what's in my heart is in her heart. I'm being here for nothing. No, she ain't not being here for nothing. He knows that we're both here for him. I can't fake how I am. Okay, if you're not getting that from me, I don't know. But he's not saying he's not getting it. It's just more like you gotta get to know you by yourself, and you gotta get to know me by yourself. I have a real nervous feeling about it's possibly me going home tonight. Just the fact that I didn't get the immunity and my sister did. And it kind of looked bad on my part, like I'm really not feeling flayed. Coming up. Since the new girl showed up into the house, you shut down. I was mad. I was pissed. I wasn't threatened by not one of them. These girls better watch their backs. If you can convince me. I'm tired of playing these damn games. Your time is up. This isn't your clock. So we're all getting ready for the elimination ceremony, and we see the new girls all wearing their clocks. We were for sure that the girl that would be eliminated today would definitely be one of the new girls. Now one of us is going home. So at this point, I'm so confused as to what's going to go on, because I was also worried that he is going to take my personality as that I'm not strong. That's some bullshit, though. My first clock tonight is to a girl that I know for a fact. You got your man Flav's back. Sincere, come get your clock. I keep it real. I don't care what any of these females in the house think. I didn't come here to make friends. Sincere, would you accept this clock from me tonight? Hell yes. Seasons, come get your clock. You accept this clock for me tonight? Yes, I will. Seasons, you know what time it is. Yes, I do. My next clock that I'm gonna give away is to a girl that I gotta really look into some more. Without further ado, big one, get your clock. <laughs> I felt so relieved. I was happy. And I'm just glad that I'm still in the house and get the chance to get even closer to Flav. Day one, you know what time it is. Sure I do. Prancer, Hotlanta, I love for you both. One of y'all are gonna leave me tonight. I'm in the bottom, too? If I go home tonight, I'm gonna be beyond pissed. Atlanta, come to me. Since the new girls showed up into the house, you shut down. You've been depressed a lot, you know what I'm saying? You've been crying, too. Damn right I was crying. I was crying because I was mad. I was pissed. I'm tired of playing these damn games. A man like Flav wants a strong woman. You're questioning me being strong? I don't hold down a household by myself on my own with three boys and do a damn good job. I can do that shit if I was weak. I'll tell you what. This isn't your clock. But if you can convince me why you should stay over Prancer, I'll let you stay. If Flav keeps Hotlanta and gets rid of me, he's making a huge mistake. She's not here for him. She's just a gold digger. Why would he want that trash over this? I might be quiet and lay back and stay on my own, but that's one thing I do not do. I don't snitch and I don't kiss and tell. So there's one clock left and it's down to me and Hot Lana. He has my clock in his hand, and she's trying to change his mind. What is he doing? This kiss and tell thing. Explain. That, I don't know. Go ahead, say it. Okay. They heard what? That you guys are really, 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 really close. Close. But I'm close with her like everybody here. Okay, but close on a different level. Pastor, when you said your rap yesterday, all of us looked at each other like, what? We automatically knew what you were talking about. Stay into my 
myself in the room with Nasty. Wanna get with you so we can do the nasty. Too hot for TV. So K I M. Keep shit on the low. You know what I know. You know what I know. Oh snap. Honestly, Prancer is trying to give the wrong signals to the girls, making the girls think that me and her was doing something when nothing ever went down, and I didn't like that. Let me put it to y'all like this. Whenever I write something, it has a message to it. So that's why I be careful of what I write, because I try to send out the right messages. I need a girl that's going to stay loyal to me and send out the right message. So your time is up. I'm going to keep Atlanta. Take that back, Rick. Sure. Hope you find it. Okay. All right, I don't know what to say or what to do to convince him at this point. I'll see you later. All right. The whole house is fucking turned against me. They're all lying, and Hotlanta should feel like shit. Cause bitch, you're wearing my clock. You weren't even gonna get one. I'll get you your clock, so you know what time it is. Yes, I do. Ultimately, Hylanta, she really showed me that she was strong enough to stay, at least for now. This right here is for Prancer. Ladies, come gather around your men. <laughs> These bitches better watch out because they do not know what the hell they're getting themselves into. I got all the mother hoes out and I will get these bitches out like taking candy from a baby. Everybody raise your glasses. One time for your man, Flavor Flav! Flavor Flav! Next time on Flavor of Love. I think to take Flavor Flav to be my husband. I object. I wanted to really object to her trying to be in your life. You do what you gotta do. Get up out of here. She thinks we're cool with her. She's not gonna be expecting what we're about to do to her. Clay's not rich. This isn't even his house. If that's what you think of the guy, what are you doing here? I've been keeping my mouth shut for a long time. Tonight, I'm going off. Money hungry, bitch. Have a my money hungry. You want that bill of hell. You're not going to do it. We were on the streets. She would have got Molly walked up and down this mansion. First of all, everybody shut the fuck up. I'm the Flaviator. Come in, Radio Towers, requesting permission to land. We are gathered here today to bring honor to the life of Flavor Flav, whose time has sadly run out. You know, Big Rick. Yes, sir. What do you have to say there, sir? <laughs> we have money, we have castles, and we have great vines, you know. <laughs> we will not sell any wine before it's time. Honestly. We're taking a very long time. I didn't pay to watch a curtain. <laughs> I want my money back, <laughs> you know? <laughs>